Um, what about, see how we were saying, you know, there was a time, of course, when we couldn't appreciate a spherical earth, which had people upside down on the other side of it. We perhaps were living more primitive or even, you know, medieval uh, lives then. That uh, Do you feel like the, 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 the teleology of scientific, technological and medical progress is somehow detached from uh, more behavioural and humane progress. What I mean is, is that in a sense, the f two medieval people, it was irrelevant and remains irrelevant that there were other people on the other side of the world upside down. And to modern people, this, uh, as you said in that uh, Buddhist philosophy, whatever this fundamental reality may be, it doesn't necessarily does it is it my question does it affect our morality and our day-to-day -day? does it not imply that if there is no objective reality at the level of our essence that we are somehow believing our own reality into being through our relationship if we say the world is beautiful and full of love and that there is a god then all these things are becoming true almost as we walk this path we make it i.e. if in the world of physics there is this limitless potentiality why should we abide by any doctrine or dogma here on this more rudimentary level of reality um well uh i think we should be ready to question any doctrine or dogma um not take it as definitive uh, but nevertheless we we cannot live without beliefs and uh, uh, structure. So we're always within a structure and, and, and a belief. And from that, um, from that we judge, from that we decide, from that we, uh, we think. Uh, we cannot just jump out of from the conversation and start from scratch. We're always what we are with our history. And, uh, and uh, I, I think that in the in the course of the of the centuries uh, we have changed, uh, and uh, from the current perspective, we certainly have uh, changed for better. Um, not just in knowledge; there's no doubt that we know more than uh, a certain number of centuries ago. Um, but also in terms of uh, uh, what you said, morality and, 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 and politics. I mean, there was a time in which uh, slavery was okay. There was a time in which uh, uh, burning young girls and young boys uh, to honor a god uh, was okay. Uh, there was a time uh, uh, in which uh, uh, women were considered uh, uh, inferior to men and still going on. We're still in that time, uh, unfortunately, but we're trying to move out of it. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, and in terms of our capacities, uh, uh, there was a time in which the lifespan of the of the, uh, the the life expectancy of humans was thirty years, not long ago. Now it's seventy, so we have more than doubled the, the, our life. Now this doesn't mean that this is a progress that is always going for better. Uh, it can go bad any time. Nothing guarantees that we continue. Uh, but I think there is progress, and uh, this progress, uh, at least, th there has been progress so far. I mean, it's up to us to just try to go in a direction we, 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 we like on the basis of values which are our values. They don't come from outside. We, we are ourselves uh, having values and uh, evolving and negotiating values among, among ourselves, I think. And that's our political life. Carlo, I have so many questions. I think I'm going to have to ask them all at once. And you seem to be able to answer multiple questions simultaneously. The first one I would say is that in a way we do still sacrifice children to God. The children that are sort of mining for minerals in the Congo. Thank you so that we can have the technology that we're using now. And the fact that it is rationally underwritten doesn't make it any more appealing the sort of exemption of the the, the sort of i don't know uh, indigenous superstition doesn't make the sacrifice uh, for economic progress of certain elites or even certain populations any more appealing also i would argue that this uh, sort of apparent uh, progress with regard to say slavery is sort of more of a kind of a necessary political shift that nevertheless maintains the kind of hegemonies that 
would have benefited from slavery, i.e., okay, you don't have to work for nothing in chains, but you can work for next to nothing in urban poverty. So this idea, and may I even venture, this myth of progress, I sometimes feel is uh, superficial and is a uh, accompaniment to the uh, maintenance of certain power structures that were likely comparable to the power structures, whether it's uh, like a tribal societies in, you know, I don't know, in sort of the Aztecs, where it would be okay to fling a kid off a pyramid, or uh, later societies, you know, 20th, 19th century societies, where it'd be cool to have slaves. I still feel that I feel that the shifts are minimalist and not fundamental, not essential, and that what you know are oh, these people don't live in poverty, and even with the uh, the extension of life, I still feel that that is a difficult argument to make when we incorporate quality of life sense of connection reality i'm not saying i would rather live in some terrifying barbaric society than you know i'm a privileged person anyway so like i'm probably not a good case study but i sometimes feel that there is a danger in this i this um self-congratulatory idea that we are progressing because we evidently are in terms of technology and science no no question no question that that, that, that somehow has a correlative when it comes to civil rights which i sometimes think are n not significant enough and sometimes actually quite insidious masking the o ongoing hierarchies that we, i think you understand my point yeah i agree i agree 100 percent. i agree that there is this danger and it's very strong uh and in fact it's not just a danger i think we're constantly falling into this uh, into this uh uh, into what you're saying, namely uh, congratulating ourselves because we don't have slaves anymore. We don't uh, throw kids out of the uh, of, of the mountains. We don't uh, um, um, we don't have death penalty in our world and so on and so forth. Uh, and we forget, uh, or, or we don't want it, more than we forget. We don't want to lose, or we use that to hide uh, uh, the amount of. Uh, uh, suffering and justice and inequality and horror that the world, our world, is uh, is is in. We're, we, I, I agree with you, Russell. We're not, uh, we're not in a, in a, in a, in in a paradise. We're not in a perfect world. We're not in a good world either. Uh, there is a, a, the level of inequalities both in our societies and and even more in in in, in the planet as large is immense and growing, and the amount of suffering around the planet is immense. Um, so I, I'm 100% with you. Um, I think still that uh, the very reason in which we, we would like to address that and we think that perhaps we can address that is the hope and the idea that there can be progress. Um, so you're right that there is a danger in the idea of progress because we self-congratulate where we are. Even worse, we use that to defend our privileges. But there's also danger in saying that there's no progress because that's what justifies the idea that, well, that's the world what it is. Uh, the strong wins, the poor mm -hmm. suffers, and, uh, and that's it. We don't want to do anything, which is an even larger danger, I would say. So our value system, which I believe to some to good extent we share, needs and wants the idea that a progress is possible and we can do something for addressing the things. Uh, this world is not the, on, the only possible world. Uh, I think there could be a better one. Yes, yes, particularly given what you are saying about the kind of m most native templates for the way that reality is formulated. If you enjoyed that, you can get a subscription for as little as $2.99 per month with Luminary's annual plan plus a seven-day free trial to get started. Visit luminarypodcast.com. Under the Skin is only available on Luminary. It's a subscription podcast network. It's fantastic.